I know other man, a guy like that, he, he was a student of pharmacy in Abu. And then an angel of the Lord came and stood in his room. And while that angel was standing in his room, he didn't know that he had spent three days in that room. He was just time was not a matter. He had spent three days in the room. And by the time the angel left and he came back out of the room, he was shining. His face was glowing with light. Even Muslims that were into sorcery, they saw him, they said, Ah, they spoke in house and said, The spirit of Isa is coming through this one. So when he stands before you, as man, the man will say, No, move like this. The thing is shining. He carried that thing on his counter. Because of that thing, he couldn't finish as a pharmacist left that place and went to his village. And he sought for a building to start fellowship and he did not have any. So the man gave him a roof, you know this upstairs, the decking. I should go up there. That upper room. <laughs> when the guy begins to pray, that glow comes on his body. You know what the glow is? It's that angel that is trying to reveal it. He, he, he said. Now we were seeing it in the flesh from that, and seeing glows. But he was actually walking in spiritual corridors in the realm. But we were seeing the glow and celebrating the glow. But he was walking in stranger. That was how miracle signs and wonders began to take place. One of those days, Nepal took light and he began to describe the person that was in the Nepal room that switched off the light. That his name was Sunday. This is how it, he is. This, 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 this. He wanted to cause him, the congregation had to beg, had to beg began to move. Nobody taught him prophetic things. Nobody taught him how to pick word of knowledge. And just like nobody will teach you, that presence as an inoculation through the spirit of wisdom and revelation, you just know that this is, this is a revelation from God. Those days in that city, there was a river where they used to do witchcraft. And that guy came from that that decade. Came down walked into the forest, the Ebu forest that people don't go close to. He was there for 40 days. Now, let me tell you how he made it. The angel now appeared. So time became nothing. By the time he was coming out of that forest, that river was dry till today. Please answer my question. Is that the work of a man? That's not a river, river Okokoro, right up. That's where they used to initiate people, used to release witchcraft, used to cast spells and curses. The river tried. And a mighty move of God began. People, women that never went to school began to see these sons of heaven and angels and became sharp in the prophecy because one man saw something. You know what? There was no need for him to go back and finish pharmacy. Because he had entered into financial wealth and entered into all kinds of things eh, that no pharmacist in the world will ever have access to. That was how he began to grow in that grace. So mighty. So mighty. Because he was afraid, he now went to one prophet in the town and submitted so that he will he will be protected because the devil too knew he had taught something and if they give him if they don't give him close marking he will he will do damage so different kinds of demons began to come around to see if they could distract him this guy comes out like this on that decky eh? Eh. as long as he's on that decky rain can fall he, he, he literally commanded the powers of the heaven and he was a young, small boy. And I was wondering, is this kind of thing not for old men? A small boy. He could literally operate the heavens and give commands to the constellations, give commands to the moon. A human being. A time came, he doesn't need hand big. As he's coming to his village and he's packing, 
people are guarding the compound, people are already falling. They are already running to bring people that are under the spell of, of drunkenness. As you come close to that light, the appetite to drink beer would die. Would die. Would die. This guy came to the market square and saw some seven young men. Eh? He, he, conduct, he said, I ordain you. I ordain you. I ordain you. Some of them. Chronic womanizers. Sinners. He came there and said, I ordain After the prayers he prayed, yes, the guys were still in sin and all of that. All of them today I minister. Just like how Elijah came and taught you Elijah. He went to the market and he did that thing. Those guys could not see today. They had to give up life. I met the last of those seven men. He was my roommate. He couldn't go for a service. That thing, that thing, that thing started. He couldn't go for a service. One man. One man. One man. And he began to move in that way. And see, if they were to do election, for who that grace will come, is not that guy. He was nothing. He was among men. He was nothing. He did not become that because of his status among men. He entered into some corridors. Hallelujah. I don't want to call his name. Some of you know him. But that's how he started. He was he was moving with the winged angels. That was where I caught that inspiration. God is calling all of us into a place. And if we find that place, we will mount up with wings like that. And we pray and say, Lord, this weekend, because some of you will go home and some things will happen. I know that. Maybe before tomorrow, maybe before, but some things will begin to happen. You want to say, Lord, come to me this weekend. Just pray that prayer sincerely. 